Uh, good morning. It's Wednesday morning. Today we're going to read Luke 8, 4 through 15. When a great crowd, ga crowd gathered and people from town to town came to him, he said in a parable, A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on the path and was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell on the rock, and as it grew up, it withered for lack of moisture. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew it and choked it. Some fell into good soil, and when it grew, it produced a hundredfold. As he said this, he called out, Let anyone with ears to hear listen. Then his disciples asked him what this parable meant. He said, to you it's been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God, but to others I speak in parables, so that looking they may not perceive, and listening they may not understand. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. The ones on the path are those who have heard, then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. The ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy, but when they have no root, they, only, they believe only for a while and in a time of testing fall away. As for what fell among the thorns, these are the ones who hear, but as they go on their way, they're choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. But as for that in the good soil, these are the ones who, when they heard the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patient endurance. So we've all heard sermons on, on that passage for sure. Um, first we have the parable, and then we have um, Jesus' interpretation of the parable, uh, which I heard described one time as the early church trying to tell us what the parable meant. Um, well, I don't know what else it might mean, but that was the way it was uh, presented to us. Um, the sower goes out to sow, and the thing that impresses me is he just throws the seeds everywhere. He doesn't look for good soil and say, okay, put some seed there. Like you would, if you were, if you were reseeding the grass in your front yard, say, you would go out and you would go to the bare spots and put some seeds. And you would go to the, maybe where the good grass is growing, you might put a little seed there, but to keep it kind of even with the other places. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't just throw it everywhere. You wouldn't throw it on the driveway and the sidewalk and the path and the, you know, in, into the mulch and the flower beds and all of that. This sower just throws it everywhere. The word is just preached. Anywhere, everywhere. And everybody, everywhere gets to hear it. Um, that's kind of the sense of the sower is not very careful. Um, and um, and we have all these different kinds of soil that, that it lands on. Some of it lands in, in a pretty good place, but it gets choked out by other things that are growing there. Some of it lands on the path, and the path, you know, paths are hard and dry, and it can't, it can't grow, and the birds eat it. Um, and some of it falls into good soil and really does grow and produces whatever it's, you know, it, it's a seed of. So let's say wheat. Um, and, and so all of this is the, the, the word that Jesus is preaching. And if you hear it, you hear it. And if you don't hear it, eh, too bad. And it's, it, <coughs> it's interesting, though, that um, in Luke's opinion, he speaks in parables precisely so that not everyone will get it. So not everyone understands what he's saying. Not everyone knows what he's doing. Uh, only those with ears to hear. And um, so that, that means that his audience is somewhat limited. Um, a little bit of, um, what, what would you say? Just a little, a, a little bit of... of um, you know, separating the the ordinary folks from those who have a little more knowledge. 
And um, that's not something that the early church really bought into, but Luke seems to do it a little bit here. So Jesus seems to do that a little bit when he says, you know, if you have if you have ears to hear the parable, good. Um, well, sometimes the parables are kind of inexplicable, so we need them to be explained. Uh, and that's okay, I think. Um, if you don't understand a parable, go look it up. There's plenty of commentaries. The world is full of commentaries no one reads. And you find one you like and you read it. Um, and and so there you go. That is Luke 8. Um, we'll continue with some more parables tomorrow. And I hope that you have a great Wednesday.